went ba boom it was like a bomb went off and it was like it was like holy hell coming down them stairs and then when we go we got finally got to the bottom they were coming out on a, a mezzanine level there and another explosion came right from the they were flying right in front of me everything just went boom. one of the fire department teams found them but uh we didn't think we didn't think they were going to make it Certainly you got out, man. Well, me and Mr. Hesh, the Corporation Council, were on the 20th floor. I told them we got to get get out of here. We started walking down the stairs. We made it to the 8th floor. Big explosion. Blew us back into the 8th floor. And I turned to Hesh. I, I said, this is it. We're dead. We're, we're not going to make it out of here. I took uh, a fire extinguisher, and I bust the window out. That's when this gentleman, this gentleman here heard my cries for help. This gentleman right here, and he said, kept, kept saying, stand by, somebody's coming to get you. Because they couldn't get to us without. Okay, it's now the base of the World Trade Center. There seems to be now a second area there of smoke. So perhaps indicating that some sort of explosion or fire in our course, what may have happened, of course, with the, uh, all these systems compromised in the building you made. Second floor, and I don't know where my peers are. I don't know. I hope to God they're okay. That's all I can say. I don't know what. We saw a shadow. It looked like a plane. Next thing we know, it was boom, boom, and the floor started shaking. And then we saw debris fall down, and next thing we know, we had to get out of the building. We stuck on the stairs for a while. We finally got down to the lobby. Then we get to the lobby. This is a big lobby. Uh, Rick Sanchez has been there throughout this morning for us. Rick, tell us where you are and what the latest is. Well, I'm in that area, if you're familiar with uh, this area, of uh, where West Broadway and Hudson come together uh, right at Chambers. That would put us about a block and a half away from uh, the site of where the explosion was. That area has just been uh, evacuated because uh, police have found what they describe it as a suspicious device and they fear that it might be something that could lead to uh, another explosion. Obviously, there, there, there's a real sense of caution here on the part of police. I spoke with some police officials. Reports of secondary explosions after the aircraft impacted, whether in fact there wasn't something else at the base of the towers that in fact were the coup de grace to bring them to the ground. Another explosion. They're handing out gloves and masks. The consensus is... It's too unsafe to go in there. New York's bravest never had a chance. We really never even got to cl close that close to the building. The explosion blew and it, it knocked everybody over. And all of a sudden, it started like, like it sounded like gunfire. You know, bang, 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 and then, and then all of a sudden, three big explosions. And outside, we made it about a block. We made it at least two blocks, and we started running. Floor by floor, it started popping out. It was, like, it was if, if, if they had detonated. Yeah, they were planned yeah. to take down a building. Boom, 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 boom. All the way down. I was watching it. I'm in the building, so I'm clearing up. Sorry, you said it's a bomb? What'd you say? Bomb in the building, start clearing up. Got it. We were getting our gear on and making our way to the stairway. There was a uh, heavy duty explosion. Yeah, here's one of the guys who can tell you I'm okay, all right? Here, hold on. You want to call, you, you call your mother or something? There was another blast, and all the lights went out, and that, this is what happened then. The glass came down. Uh, we didn't see we were still inside the building. All we heard was a big blast, and the whole volume of air moved. And we went, we came out through the uh, uh, subway. Well, good to see you. What are your injuries? They won't let me go any closer. No one can go in to get the people out. There's small explosions still going on. Make sure the stairs doors are open so people can get out easily. Fire department was working with us. But after the second blast, everything was so dark, we decided we have to go out. And I was waiting outside to make sure that our team workers are okay. But in the third blast, I couldn't even breathe, so I had to get out. What do we know about a third blast? I didn't even know. The building fell, I think. I guess so, yeah. Oh, my God. Three are being evacuated. This area center, Twin Towers, both of which appear to have been on the news of what had transpired here in New York City. There is uh, smoke and uh, a massive explosion coming out of it. The first we heard was from uh, Tintin, Wisconsin. Police and the fire truck is ongoing. Um, the smoke is, is unbelievable. It doesn't even look like they've been able to do anything. We have police uh, helicopters overhead, I think, to keep everybody else away. 